So now I'm talking with Krista Rummage, who's with the psychology department here at St. Catherine College. Tell us about some of the programs that are offered with psychology. Well, we have two degrees. We have a Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. So for students who know they want to go to graduate school, we offer a Bachelor of Science. For students who have no idea what they want to do, we have a Bachelor of Arts that is fantastic for any field because you learn a lot of great skills, um, information processing, how to talk with others and work with other people. It's fantastic. So psychology can be utilized in business or in various different uh, areas as well, right? Absolutely. We have graduates who work with insurance. We have graduates who work for Communicare. We have graduates in graduate school. Um, we have some who've gone through clinical programs. So they take in all kinds of fields. It's wonderful. And is it a four-year program? It is a four-year program and either degree can be completed in four years and offers some wonderful experiences. So it's another opportunity here at St. Catharines to learn more about what the psychology department has to offer. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Evelyn Silliman, and she is with the English department at St. Catharines College. And tell us about what the English department has to offer here. Well, we have a four-year Bachelor of Arts degree where you can major in English, and you can emphasize creative writing, you can emphasize professional writing, you can emphasize literature, if that's what interests you. But we can also offer you a minor in all three of those areas. Okay. So you could perhaps major in education, but minor in English, or you might want to major in psychology and minor in English, because the two go together so well, you know. Absolutely. So a lot of people might be thinking with English, you could teach, but there's other uh, other job opportunities that are available as well, right? Certainly, and right now employers are saying that what well, they're making a return to the concept that they want people who can think mm -hmm. critically, think critically, who can read and read critically, and who can write and write well and communicate. So the job field is just open in every area. When you look at that, um, even in say if you're in nursing, it's not a bad idea to have some English background, say a minor in English, because you might be the person who actually writes up the proposals for your nursing department and that sort of thing. In engineering, the same thing. So you can't just uh, move English away and say, no, I'm going to be this or I'm going to be that. English is integral to so many majors. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's available as a major or a minor here at St. Catherine. It is. Yes, it is. And there are opportunities, too, if you do come here. I know you're not in charge of it, but they had the Patriot Press that St. Catherine's has been started recently. So if you do do writing, you have an opportunity to get that exposed. And you're also exposed to some great uh, authors, authors here. I know we have a video here with uh, Silas House who's from Kentucky. Wendell and Wendell Berry has been here, and um, Tori McClure has been here, and just on and on, the authors that we've had on campus, poets like Morris Manning, who was the runner-up for the Pulitzer Prize in Poetry and lives right in this area. Um, also, um, theater, I'm sorry, I couldn't think for a second. Also, we have a theater program, and we have a young woman who is actually, her expertise is in horror and gothic and that sort of thing, and she also has a theater program for us, so students can be involved in that. With Dr. Meadows. Yes, Dr. Yeah. Meadows, yeah. yes, and we have gender studies with Dr. Tuttle, you know, and we have uh, environmental sustainability with uh, Dr. Bayans, and all of these just work to incorporate the English major throughout the campus. It's through, it's campus-wide. Absolutely. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here with Dr. Sue Lasky, who's with the Education Department at St. Catherine College. Now, you can actually get a teacher's degree here, right, and go out and teach after you leave St. Catherine's? You actually start working in the field your second semester here, so not only can you earn your teaching credentials here, both in middle school and in elementary, but you get hands-on experience in the classroom within your second semester. Great, so that's like some field experience in the classrooms? Yes, it's very much of a, a clinical model where we have people actually mentoring with okay. local teachers in a variety of schools, variety of settings. And one thing I'll tell you is the more initiative they show us at an early stage, the sooner they get to uh, take some initiative in the classroom. It's a fantastic program. We, ha we have some phenomenal schools around here. Um, excellent teachers and principals who are um, very willing to work with us and to grow our students into who they need to be to serve our local population. And actually getting out into the classrooms, it gives you opportunities to make connections for jobs as soon as you graduate as well, right? It does. And one of the things we've been able to do with a lot of our students is 
work with local principals once we know sort of where the students want to go mm -hmm. and we get them um, known we give them uh, opportunities to shine in front of whomever they need to shine in front of so that's great yeah so it's, you're getting a degree but you're also getting the opportunity to get jobs pretty quickly here at st catharines oh yes I'm talking with Peggy Tillman, who's with the Sports Leadership Program at St. Catherine College. Tell us what the Sports Leadership Program has to offer here at the school. Okay, the Sports Leadership Program uh, will offer an opportunity for you to be a coach or a teacher or a Boys and Girls Club manager, an aquatic club manager. You can run a fitness center. So it offers a lot of different things. And now some of these things, like your teachers and coaches, have to you have to go and get your master's. And I work with kids to talk about the, the step after you graduate with the sports leadership uh, degree. So is it a four-year program? Yes, it's a bachelor of science degree, a four-year program, uh, and uh, is a four-year program. We also have a minor in coaching. Uh, some people want to do a, another uh, uh, major, and they want coaching too, and we also offer that. Now, they have the opportunity to also work with several of the sports programs here at the school when they're in the, with that degree, is that correct? Yes, a, a lot of the, the students that I have are in uh, athletes. We work really with them as far as their schedules and make sure that they are uh, okay with schedules and academics. We work for both of those, uh, we work with the student athlete and take care of both of those areas. So that's the sports leadership degree. Is that something unique? Are there many colleges in the area that have that kind of degree? Uh, no, we are the only one that I know of, of in this area or in Kentucky. I know there are master's programs in it, but as far as a Bachelor of Science, we are the only one that has it. Fantastic. Thank you very much. You are very welcome. Have a great day. You too. Now, there's a mural behind us that uh, Betty Brookfield wants to tell us about because your students actually did this mural yes. here, right? I'm so proud of it. Uh, what we are in the Hamilton Health Science Building and we're in the lower level and this is sort of nicknamed the shell. So we were given the uh, concrete wall behind us. It's it's quite large and for a two-week summer class I had a mural painting class. Many of these students just needed a few courses to graduate or they had already walked but just needed to fulfill their graduation requirements. So I had uh, 12 or 15 students in the class and they made a, a plan measured it, made a plan. It is the history of education on uh, this site, which begins with the little log cabin that the Dominican sisters began teaching in, and it's, it reads from left to right, and then all the new buildings are on the right. So uh, it uh, takes us along Cartwright Creek and even shows you a picture of the uh, original mother house, which sadly burned, and then the new one. So it is. Uh, there's a key on the wall to look at to see the different sites so they had to interview the uh, different sisters or, uh, to understand the history as well as create the art. And many of them, most of them, had never picked up a brush before, but they worked uh, as a group. Some did uh, the background and others did the more fine uh, uh, detailed work and it, it's just a I'm very proud of it so I'm so glad that you took a, a moment to let me share that with you. How long did it take to complete that project? It was two weeks two we weeks. Were, we did it in two weeks but now we spent all day every day and they even brought their lunch and we stayed down here and worked on it until it was complete. And see that just shows what a good teacher uh, Betty Brookfield <laughs> is to nice. students who never picked nice. up a brush <laughs> to get a full mural like they that. They did it they did it and I'm I, I, they did it, not me. I'm very proud of them, and we just had a lot of joy doing it. So thank you for giving us an opportunity to talk about it. Thank you. Thanks.